on the Facebook, you have the marketing of the meeting. It is not to see uh, my friend Gamel. Thank you very much, Gamel. It is just to see this picture. It looks very easy, a very elegant presentation. Something is really, really, really missing. This is the typical man in all the studies, in the anatomical plates, in the hip processes, in the drug research. This is the typical one. Someone is lacking. My mother, my sister, my daughter, my niece, my cousin, my wife, my love. Someone is lacking in the picture. She is totally invisible in medicine. And unfortunately, I discovered she is too invisible in our speciality. Although, although, I hope that by the end of the lecture, she is standing up because she always stands up to support us. So in all lectures, we are speaking about this typical man. Nothing you will see is done for her. Although there is a difference. Does it matter? Does it matter that the skeleton is not the same? Does it matter that the size is not the same? Does it matter that in every cell in my body it is XY genetically on my chromosomes and her it's XX does it make a difference in our study and in our presentations and in her presence and in taking charge of her? Does it matter that the, all the researches, MRI dynamics, shown that there is a brain difference and a hormonal difference? Does it matter that the constitution of progesterone is different in the metabolism of the drugs for her than the testosterone composition, which makes a difference in the, the metabolism of all the drugs <coughs> we used and we prescribed for her. Does it matter that she has different hormones? Does it matter that the connection of the brain and the brain wiring is totally different when we are going to see her, to treat her, to hear what she is going to tell us? Does it really matter? And since when? And in what country in the world? And in what lab she is considering her? And in what university hospital since I am teaching in France since 33 years? Where did we consider all these differences? And in orthopedic traumatologic, you see all the drugs. I have made the statistic. 97% are tested even on mouse, males. You know why? To prevent the hormonal biases the hormonal changes. We are testing treatments, drugs, cardiology drugs, anti-inflammatory, anti-painkiller on male testosterone XY system. And when it came to human beings, it's the same. No woman in the statistics and in the lab research. For 97% of the drugs which are there, there, tested for testosterone, XY chromosomes and the metabolism. 
97% of the drugs. Nothing for her. Does it really matter that the skeleton is different? Does it really matter that uh, the joints are different? Does it really matter that the ligaments are different? This is my case. I have put all my failure cases. This is mine. All what you are going to see, failure, it's mine. But when I put a femoral nail, I know before I put it that the design is not made for a woman. And so, in the lateral view, it will not fit. When I was putting DHS and then now nails, I know, you know, they know, all know that the pelvis is different. It's larger. And especially the angles are different. I'm putting a gamma nail for a woman, designed for a man. I am putting screws for an osteoporotic woman, which are tested on male bones. And now, before I could have do that, now I have the anatomical plates. Did you look to the plates? They are anatomical. They are anatomical for me. They are anatomical for you. Nothing is anatomical for her. Nothing is adapted. The screw threads are not adapted for osteoprotic bone. The screw threads and the tapping are made for me. I'm using processes in revision, in failures, they are not lateralized for her. And then came the variations of the bone and the infections with the menopause. Nothing is done in my speciality. When I am in a car and my sister is driving, I would have lied my wife there in France. I would like to tell her, don't put the safety belt. Don't, please don't put it. Your thoracic cage is different. In angulation, due to the breast, due to dorsal spine, BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, Lamborghini, all the crash tests are with those dummies. Did they seem like my sister composition and anatomy like my wife? So, when there is a crash test, when there is an accident, because the bell is on male dummies, he fractures the sternum with internal hemorrhage and in the abdomen. The same accident. Since only two years, some began trying to adapt it. So in trauma, in my speciality, in the emergency, they even don't arrive till now in the emergency. They die from the safety car belt. The drug testings are all for men. In orthopedics, the hip processes, you know, I know the angulation. You know, I know the lateralization. Fortunately enough, since 18 years, I'm using a gender processes from Zimmer. The only one I found here and in France. 
and you can see it clearly. It is not the same morphology. There is a totally different anatomy, angulations, ligament stability for a woman than a man. All the processes you will see there are made for me, for you, not for her. Gender processes from Zimmer, you can see it, it's totally different. It is not a matter of size, it's a matter of angles, it's a matter of stability. You can see it there, I think. And in shoulder, when it comes to rotator cuff, really, it's amazing. I'm treating her here as there, with the same material for a man. Although the thoracic cage is different, the dorsal spine is different, the breast constitutions, which makes her inflection is different so the anatomy of the shoulder is different because it is anterior i'm not even speaking about the size for the shoulder but nothing for her the process is reversed french processes the same thing complications differently You know, as me, the anterior crochet ligament insertion is different. You know, in sports medicine, when I see one lesion in a man yeah, for anterior crochet ligament in sport, football especially, you know how many equivalent you have as woman because the insertion is different. Not the ball, not the time of the match, not the choose. Seven. For every one cruciate ligament, there are seven lesions in woman because the insertion is different. But not the ball, not the time of the match. When we are dealing with patellar instability, we are treating her as if she has the same Q angle as a male. Iliotibial band syndrome. Patellar pain syndrome. Achilles tendon. Why do you see in your clinic as many as plantar fasciitis? fasciitis that we tell her it is gout. I don't have uric acid. Yes, you have uric acid, but it is not seen in the lab, so we are going to take its plantar fasciitis, the design of the architecture of the Q angle and the bones are different. We are not taking in charge of that. In La Pitié Salpetriere, last century, in the university teaching hospital in France. And since 200 years, a diagnosis, a medical diagnosis has been told. Hysteria. All professors are teaching that. La Pitié Salpetriere, the staff meeting on Tuesday, they bring women that have pain everywhere, depression, suffering, with a diagnosis confirmed in the medical books, hysteria. Now, it disappeared. But how to control her? A patient came in your clinic, there in France, and they told her, nothing is wrong on the x-rays, on the MRI, but I'm suffering, yes. Oh, I cannot say it is hysteria. So it is what? The new fibromyalgia. 
Is there any biological test which can confirm fibromyalgia? No. Is there any X-ray that can confirm this diagnosis? No. Is there anything that says this is 100% like a fracture? It is fibromyalgia? No. She has articular pain. She has chronic pain which makes depression which is logic. She has insomnia from the pain and she has a new diagnosis. It's not called hysteria. It's called fibromyalgia. So we give her treatment. And antidepressant treatment is designed for whom? For which metabolism? For me. I took it after humanitarian mission. I took it. It works. But how does a drug not tested on estrogen XX chromosomes would work on XX estrogen? How can it work? And you are telling her, we give you antidepressant, anxiolytic, anti-inflammatory. 97% of drugs are tested on right male and on man, for male, for us. And she has depression and anxiety, and we are going to treat her tomorrow. I will speak about that. She is living, but she don't have existence. A virus lives, a plant lives, an animal lives its biology. We are not lives. We are existence, and the existence is physical awareness, intellectual awareness, social awareness, spiritual awareness, and emotional awareness with human consciousness. Consciousness. She is living. She don't have any existence. My name is Bahir. I got a cancer recently. I couldn't not tell you this message. I'm not here to give a conclusion. There is 8 billion human beings and 1,100 human had been on this earth. Who am I to have a conclusion? I want to just to tell you what I have seen because I have the dreams that tomorrow will be better for her. Next Sunday it is the International Day against for violence against women. And if what I have told you is not called violence, can you please Tell me what is violence. I know it is not like that. And uh, who has money? Control everything. So either she fell down or she submit. She submit. I don't have to submit. And you don't have to submit. You can change things and just by taking awareness we will not submit i don't have she have no choice she have to go back where there is money and like the sicilian mafia nobody is saying a word about that although i didn't say any new thing that all of us know nothing new we can stop because she has her time <coughs> i think 
that life hurts enough and you can see it very close to us and here also and there so let's not put heart and hurt even in medicine the gender related discrimination brings her to rejection to victimization to loss of identity which make phobia negative expectation and uh, fear mental health is affected and physical also to arrive to the loss of human consciousness that I say call dehumanization she lives she does not exist although she is my mother she is my sister she is yours she is the one who supports us we are all born from the womb of a woman I learned that caring for patients got beyond diagnosing their illness my teachers told me that it is the nurturing the hope within them that tomorrow will shine a brighter let this lecture be not an end but a beginning of consciousness a step towards collective healing understanding and the profound change my last slide that after 40 years in medicine after long studying of women's condition throughout the ages and across all over the world the chronicles of women's lives have been consistently marked by suffering violence and resilience in face of adversity and submission i came to the clear conclusion that we as men when we meet a woman we should not start by a simple hello sabah al khair bonjour but we should say sorry coupled with a sincere request for forgiveness let us help her to stand up proudly let's say i say sorry pardon as fin yes it is cool